to you guys today about blue lines. And this paper, maybe it looks like there's nothing on it. Maybe it looks like there's something on it. I don't really know how good your monitor is calibrated, but I printed out blue lines using my, in fact, there's like a bit of schmutz on there that I wanna get rid of if I can. Anyway, uh, I printed blue lines out using my, G. it's like, Canon Pro 9000, whatever. It's a larger format printer. It is a uh, like a home use printer, so it uses water-based inks. And so that means I can print these sort of blue lines on watercolor paper, this is arches, and then pencil them. And then when I stretch my pages, um, the water from stretching it will wash this away and you don't see it anymore. So it'll just leave the pencil lines. And I thought I would do a quick demonstration of how that works. And this is a technique that I use in my seven inch Kara pages. I'm inking with a plain uh, mechanical pencil. It's a Faber-Castell mechanical pencil. I got it when I was in um, Toronto for TCAF a couple years ago. I don't ever use the eraser on it because it's garbage. Uh, and it's got H lead in it because if you use like a B lead, the softness in that lead, it's going to get picked up when you do your wash and it's gonna smear all over the paper. So you wanna use a harder lead and a lighter hand. And if you'd really rather, you can also ink on top of this, but the pencil is so easy because you can erase. Whereas with the ink, you can't erase because it'll leave a resist on your paper. And here is a cute little image of my main character from my comic, Seven Inch Kara. So Kara, she's scaling a wall that has like nails in it because she's only seven inches tall. So yeah, I thought that would look really cute. And I drew it a while back and now I'm like gonna paint it. But first I have to pencil it in. And this is a really good opportunity if you wanna like make changes to your line work, if you wanna kinda tighten things up or add in some details or even like a little bit of hatch marks, you know, whatever you think is gonna work, um, now is a great time to do it. I like to sketch with like a black uh, color pencil, like a black prism color, whatever, in my sketchbook. And then I can blow it up and pencil it and even if the sketch was sketchy it's going to look a lot tighter because i've penciled it so for those of you who were kind of wondering how i managed to make like do watercolor pages the the way i do them well no i'm not just drawing directly on the page i'm not that good but i wish i was that good few people are that good um but I do have some little tricks and tips that I've learned over my years of being an illustrator. And if you're interested in more of those tips and tricks, there's a couple of ways you can make that happen. Numero uno, you should join the channel because there's going to be a lot of videos like this coming up in the future. Numero dos, you ought to buy volume one of 7-inch Kara. Volume two is in production. Uh, if you check out some of my other videos, you'll see a little sneaky peek of that. But volume one is out and it's totally ready to be purchased and it would love to go home with you and you can find that at netosoup.com slash Kara hyphen comic or by clicking on this card right here. Um, you purchasing my beloved baby comic, my heart blood, the the work of my my free time, the toil of my days, encourages me to make more content like this because it makes me happy. And if I'm happy, I wanna record videos. It helps me pay my bills. It keeps me making comics and that's great because if you learn how to make comics from me teaching you, you really want me to stick around because I got lots and lots to tell you. I paid a lot of good money to go to art school and I gotta make that money work somehow, right? Might as well share it with you. But that's only going to happen if we see 7-inch Kara move. And the only way it's going to move is if people like you give it a shot. Um, it's an all-ages comic, so if you're like still living at home, you got kind of a strict mom, believe me, I understand. My mom was super strict with me. 
you don't have to worry about it. She's not going to confiscate your comic. She might like it. She might be like, this is the comic that made me like comics because it's cute and it's fun and it's lighthearted and it's sweet and it's got like nice values, but there's some conflict in there too. And it's got tiny people and tiny people riding cats. So if your mom doesn't like comics, but she likes cats, she might like Seven Inch Carol. And it's only 15 bucks plus the cost of shipping and you get a super cute little wooden charm. I mean, you know, I really, I really love this comic. I really believe in this comic. And I think you should give it a shot. I really do. I would give it a shot. Like that's the sort of comic I would dump all my money on. Like I would become obsessed with it because like I made the sort of comics I like to read. So if you like my art, you'll like my comics. Uh, so, uh, numero... Gosh, I'm gonna have to switch to French because like my ability to count in Spanish is, I didn't watch enough Sesame Street, obviously. Trace, Trace is three for Spanish. So the third way you can help encourage me to make more content like this is by becoming a Patreon backer. And that's super simple. And the buy-in is two bucks and it gets you access to all sorts of goodies, including backer exclusive live streams. Um, and it lets me know that you enjoy the content a whole lot. And it also means you get a vote. You get a say in the sort of stuff I'm going to I'm gonna make. Because I ask my backers all the time what kind of content they're interested in. So if there's something you're dying to see and I haven't done it yet, become a backer and it, it'll happen. So anyway, um, this technique, once you've printed it out, once you started penciling it, straightforward, really simple how I do all my pages, how I do most of my illustrations. Looks like magic, but it's not, which is like one of the best things about art is it looks like magic, but it's not. Um, it is literally the only technique where I'm gonna say something really stupid. I'm gonna say, you don't have to be an artist to make this work. You do need legal permission to, to use the image you're using though. I mean, like don't just steal somebody else's art, okay? That is never okay. But like, you know, I mean, if your draftsman skills aren't that great, cause you spent your time doing other things, like, I don't know, having a life, having a kid, getting married, I, who am I to judge? Uh, if you spent your time doing those things instead of, you know, like me, holed up in an apartment drawing 10 hours a day, uh, you can use this technique and as long as you've got fairly passable painting skills, and I'll tell you, fairly passable painting skills, not all that hard to come by, it just takes a little bit of time. Uh, but this technique works great. So if you have some digi stamps that you wanna, you wanna put to use, this would be a way to do that. Of course, you're gonna have to fess up that you didn't draw it yourself, cause that's the right thing to do. But uh, it's gonna look great and it'll produce some frameable art uh, that you can take pride in. So, I mean, that's, that's definitely a plus. Or if you are an apartment hermit like myself and uh, you did trade away your firstborn and uh, your social life for some drawing prowess, this is a great way to get those drawings from your sketchbook on a watercolor paper. Or, um, I mean, because you can you can use a similar technique with Copics. It, the line art won't fully go away because you're never applying water, so you're not melting the line art. But you can ink over that. Or you can use toner and just print, you know, straight to black and white and then ink, I mean, then Copic marker right over that. Um, anyway, it's a pretty versatile technique. Did totally goof her ankle. I'm trying to fix that. Versatile technique, don't see a lot of people talking about it. Don't see a lot of other artists or crafters mentioning it. Never really understood why they didn't. It's great. Give it a shot. Becca Hilburn. See you guys later. Bye.